it starts to happen in the societies around the North Atlantic that, for the reasons I talk about in my book, Why the West Rules for Now, start to see their energy capture go through the roof, even before they crack the secret of fossil fuels after about 1750. Already by 1600, because they are mastering the Atlantic Ocean, places like the British Isles, France, Spain, they're seeing energy capture begin to take off. Some of them, like the British Isles and the Netherlands in particular, see their energy begin to increase even more because they figure out the most effective ways of channeling all this new wealth, all these new resources coming across the Atlantic Ocean. And when the Industrial Revolution does happen, it's in the countries that have come to dominate the Atlantic economy, especially Britain, especially England, and channel those resources. Uh, they've got all these things they could do if they can just find the way to get the resources going and fossil fuel driven industrial uh, manufacturing and then governments that open up paths within the society for fossil fuel manufacturers and their funders Places that do that see this explosion. And it's not like English people have changed their fundamental moral character. It's just that they start seeing, oh, we're doing really well compared to all these benighted Europeans. Why are we doing really well? It's not like the energy flows change who you are or somehow make you a different moral being. It's just that they start rewarding different kinds of behavior. And so we certainly, by the end of the 19th century, you've still got people who say women should not vote. You've still got people who say slavery should be legal. But you're starting to look like a crackpot if you say these things. And that is the only force driving this. And it turns out that the decisions that people have been making within Britain, generally in the 19th century, were ones that were very profitable for the British system as a whole, not necessarily for everybody within Britain. But they, they were looking at the world, recognising the way geography was taking them, the options open to them, and capitalising on these. And so I, mean, I say this, this is why it all happened. This is the key thing to remember. It's not, I'm not saying, oh, energy flows determine what kind of society you have. Absolutely not. Energy flows, though, set up the costs and benefits of any decision you make. They rig the system so that if you choose the right thing without knowing what the right thing is, and with no way to know what the right thing is, you benefit from it. You choose the wrong thing, you pay a very harsh price for it.